Hey, into this video, I'm gonna show the five best decks after the balance changes. Starting off with this one, Hog Rider with the Firecracker. As you guys know, the Firecracker is gonna receive a big buff. Her first attack is gonna be faster in the night too, and the night is gonna receive a 6% HP buff. And it's 2.6, so it cycles really fast, and it's definitely gonna be one of the best decks in the meta. Our next deck here is this Royal Giant with the Monk. So the Monk is gonna be a really key card right now. It's gonna receive a 13% damage per, per second buff. And it's gonna be really nice in the meta with the Phoenix Hunter. Goblin's really good, nice too for the miners. And the lightning's mainly for buildings too. In our next one here, we have the Archer's Graveyard deck. So Archer is gonna receive a really nice buff. It's gonna hit faster and get a 22% damage per second buff. So really good deck to use too in this meta. Going to our next one, we have this. Uh, Goblin Giant who got a really good buff It's gonna be much faster now and it's gonna receive a damage 13% damage per second buff So these are the best decks and the last one uh, Is this Expo because of the archers So archers is gonna be like the main card of the meta I think so archers with the Expo always good with the Tesla and cycle troops And right now I'm gonna be playing three matches with the decks and I'm gonna choose here I'm going to start off with this Hog Raider. So Hog Raider, Firecracker, one of the funnest decks to play right now in the game too. 2.6, so cycles really fast. And let's play here. Let's play some matches here into top ladder. Uh, okay, so this deck here, basically, you have to cycle a lot of hogs. Firecracker for the defense, Tesla too, really important. And, okay, looks like we're going to go versus Expo. So, really good matchup to start the video. I have like a 2.6 stack, so Earthquake, I can cycle really easily. Okay, I'm really gonna go for my Knight here, and I'll cycle to my Earthquake back. I have it now, Log 2, and easy defense here. So like in this stack, if I want, I could just Earthquake cycle the tower. And don't even need to put some Hogs, but I think it's really important like to pressure Hog, Firecracker. The Firecracker gets a lot of value in this matchup like even with the buff it's gonna be even better and okay here he's in just gonna put the archers i'll put my firecracker here maybe we get some damage i'll put my skellies here too okay he was first so he's a fireball so that's really nice for us i'm gonna knight here and you could probably go in yeah i'm gonna probably hog here maybe earthquake that's tesla okay mm, okay he went with the knight i'll go hog right now Okay, Tesla, okay, I'm gonna leave that go. So, entering the Elixir, you're gonna probably like want to try to spam the Expos. Uh, it's gonna be really easy to defense. I think here, the big problem if I like choke here is like if I use the Earthquake on the offense and don't have nothing for the Expo. But I think it's not gonna happen here. It's a really comfortable matchup. Okay, Earthquake here first, Knight after. I'll just log here too in Ice Spirit just to guarantee. Okay, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna Tesla here because that Tesla is really annoying. I don't want that Tesla to be in the fields. Okay, here, Firecracker, maybe get some chip damage. Log two. Nice, you can get some really good chip damage there. Earthquake. And the same thing, Ice Spirit. Gonna put more Skylies too. And really nice, really satisfying putting the Earthquake on the Expo. And another same thing here, I'm going for my Tesla. Killing his Tesla. You can hear Earthquake log, Ice Spur in case he likes, yeah, puts a Fireball, Skylies too. And zero damage, look at this. <laughs> yeah, the Expo is really hard to, to connect to the tower here in this matchup. Okay, he's gonna go once again. Knight here. Okay, nice. I'll put my ice spirit. And okay, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go here with the Tesla already predicting maybe. 3, 2, 1. Okay, didn't come. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna earthquake here. I'm gonna go. Mm, okay, he's gonna start cycling some fireballs. I'll go here with the firecracker too. Um, I'll go with the Hog Rider too. Earthquake for the Tesla. Okay, at least my Tesla is helping too. 
okay for a cracker please get the sour okay he didn't get it we have to be careful here but i think it's not gonna be a big problem because we have earthquake uh how greater the pressure firecracker to get some chip damage there too here we're gonna spam everything firecracker how greater night a log earthquake um one hit mm, almost okay here once again skeleton's night firecracker everything at the bridge ice spirit earthquake too once again i'm gonna cycle to another hog one hit almost almost guys here he, he's not like cycling some fireballs because i'm pressuring him a lot so he can't cycle fireballs now he can but it's too late i'm gonna go once again a greater for a cracker earthquake get some ship damage too skeletons there and okay really nice another hog rider and this should be gg this guy is defending like really well he's not giving up with the match like this is i think a 100 zero for me and okay really nice game to start the video i got a really hard counter but it is what it is and let's go to the next one we're going to go versus uh this japanese guy i don't know chinese or japanese and I'm gonna use this Grave Bird deck here. It's really, it really looks really nice, this Grave Bird. Like, that's how it's a really good cycle. Has the Bomb Tower, Phoenix, Knight. That's gonna be buffed. It's a really cool deck. Let's test it out here. And especially with the Knight in the Arch's buff, it's gonna be a really powerful deck right now. So I'm gonna be careful because there's some like Mother Witch decks. I'm gonna go into the Okay, at least we this. Oh my god, that was so bad. <laughs> but okay, I think he's using. Okay, Phoenix, Copus. I think it's Electro Giant, Murtek. Hope it's not. No, I think hope it is because I think I'm pretty good match with it. Yeah, Heavy Bombs are gonna have like archers that are really good. And look at this person that we're getting the big collectors. And it's hard. Oh my god, hopefully it doesn't hurt this. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Oh no. And I can't go attacking here because if I go attacking, it's just gonna have to do with goblins. And I don't have the poison cycle, so I just start here in the back, I think it's the best way to do. Okay, gonna put my bomb star here, come with Electro Giant. And okay, during this matchup, I'm just gonna defend, defend, defend. Try to have a really good attack to attack. But I think it's gonna be really nice, really easy to defend. And I think it's gonna be really nice. Okay, here, I'm gonna protect my axe, so you can have a good attack. Okay, here we're gonna go with the Grave Bird. Run away a little bit, and here we go. Get the Goblin there, but I think it's pretty good to be able to get the Goblin there. Only one points, at least for the Goblin. Here's the Goblin, it's getting close. Red's going to house 900. Here's the Goblin. He's a giant and it's a So now for this defense, we're gonna go with uh, the Okay, we're gonna go with 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 the Okay, 
And the third deck here that I'm going to show is this Cobbin Giant Double Prince deck. So it's a really like off meta deck that's going to be really strong, especially with the Cobbin Giant buff. And like other decks can be strong too with the Goblin Giant, but I think this one is gonna be like the one that's gonna uh, have more wins and the people are gonna use more. Okay, here I'm gonna go with the Goblin Gang. Um, okay, Lava at the Bridge, I can't do nothing here. So instead, I'm gonna go attacking and put my Goblin Giant here in the front and just do like bad turn in defense or fireball. Okay, here I'm gonna zap anything he puts. Okay, zap, but that zap wasn't that good. <laughs> I think it was bad, but okay, no problem. We wasted a zap there, so like this deck is a zap bait, log bait, something like that. Spell bait, yeah, spell bait. And like works really well uh, in the synergy of this deck. Okay, looks like we're gonna go versus the Lava Loon. Um, I think a combo here with like the giant with the goblin giant double prince is gonna be immortal. Okay, you're just gonna goblin gang try to destroy that tombstone. I'm gonna dive here too, just to finish out. And I'm gonna start doing my combo here. If he puts like a lava, I'm gonna 100% start my combo. Oh my god, what is this here? Lava at the bridge. That's not how to play this game. He okay, wasted his zap, so opens up for my bats. And okay, he doesn't have a zapping cycle, so I'm gonna goblin giant here. And after when I have elixir, I'm gonna put a goblin giant. I'm gonna put a <laughs> goblin gang. He doesn't have zap, so he's gonna probably use a fireball here. I don't know, maybe a barbarian. Okay, fireball, but I'm gonna zap here. And this is tower. Nice. Now just a fence here. Defense the worst part, but I think we can defend this. I'm gonna fireball this first, getting the lava too. Um, I'm gonna Dark Prince, cutting the Phoenix, Goblin King here, zap everything, wait a little bit for a zap, and put my bets. Okay, we didn't receive any damage, that was so good. And just one more defense instead. I'm gonna go here attacking just to force him to defense and not go attacking. Okay, um, GG? GG, okay. <laughs> I made the guy give up. So these were today's matches for today's video. And I hope you guys like the decks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.